I want to uh, demonstrate the procedures involved in safe isolating a, a three-phase board. And uh, for those of you who are not that familiar with three-phase boards, I'll just point out some of the differences. We've got the main isolator here, and we've got a, two neutral bars, which are electrically connected, and we've got two earth bars, which are also electrically connected. And that's just so that we can bring in cables from here and here without crossing over. And the other thing about the three-phase board is that actually 10 procedures that we've actually got to do to complete it. It's important to remember that it's the bottom of the isolator that's actually live. And we want to make sure that it's actually cut the power from the bottom to the top. So we're going to be performing the safe isolation procedure at the top of the switch. It's also important to remember that you're going to need permission to turn all the electricity off from the client. We will assume that we've actually done that, but I've actually left the MCBs on. And the reason for that is that with a larger installation like this, there may well be some other source of power. And unless these are on, then we won't know about it. If we leave these on, then any power that is coming in will show up at the top of the switch. So I'm going to use an approved voltage indicator. This one's from Martindale. It all complies to GS38 with finger guards and tips that are less than four millimeters. These are actually retractable. And it has double insulated leads and fuses in the probes as well. So we can use the Martindale voltage unit here. But if you've actually got voltage present, which we have at this particular point, we can actually use the bottom of the switch as the actual proving unit. So as you can see, we are actually live. So there are 10 tests. So I'm going to start off at the top of the isolator and test between the lives. I can now drop down onto the neutral bar and come back across the top of the isolator. And then I'm going to drop down onto the earth bar and then work my way across the other way across the top of the isolator. That's nine tests. The final one, the tenth, is between earth and neutral. I then need to reprove the unit. That's still functional. So now I can say that those circuits are, in fact, dead. And I like to teach the mnemonic solo, switch off, lock off. So I switch off, and now I lock off. So you may want to put your details on there, like perhaps your mobile phone number in case you need to be contacted. And it's very important to actually put the key on your person as you are now the duty holder of the electrical system. <laughs>